Hello, hello, hello. Um, good morning, good afternoon, in the yeah, good night, maybe, uh, all over the world. Um, I'm Sota Watanabe, I'm founder of Plasma Network, and today we have a uh, Martin and the Alex. Yeah, good, oh, hi, good afternoon. Hi, guys. Today I'm going to talk about Shiden Network, uh, which is Canary Network or Plasm, and we are going to make it as a Xama parachain. And the Xama parachain auction is coming hopefully in weeks. So it's a really important broadcast to, to explain our strategy in the upcoming events, such as the denomination, deposit staking, and the cross-chain messaging passing. This is the today's topic. Um, I'm going to talk about the difference between Plasma Network and Shiden Network. And the Alex will be talking about XCMP, cross-chain messaging passing. And Martin will be talking about the denomination. And we have a QA session. All right, uh, let's get it started. So difference between Plasma Network and Shiden. So this is the Shiden Network 101. Uh, Shiden Network is a canary network that acts as an r and d chain, research and development chain of Plasma Network. Shiden have a value, but uh, Shiden is smaller than Plasma Network. So we are going to connect Shiden Network to Xama uh, Network as a parachain. And the, in this sense, Shiden Network is a DAPS hub on the top of Xama parachain that support Ethereum and the layer two solution. Shiden is lower value, no promises, dynamic and fast moving and driven by the community. Plasma and Shiden is community owned project, a community owned public blockchain. That's why we distribute 65% for the community. I think 65% is, you know, um, big, big amount compared to other projects. Yeah, a lot of projects uh, distributed token with huge discount for only limited venture capital or investor. We don't like that. Yeah, that's why we distributed our token to community members through Doctor first. And then we raise the money led by Binance. And the, we're going to do our best to become the one of the first summer parachain as well as Polkadot parachain. Yeah, this is also uh, important information of Shiden Network. Um, the token economics of Shiden Network is exactly the same to Plasma Network. So 30% of the token will be distributed to doctoral participants, the first and the second doctoral participants. And the token will be distributed when we launch the Shiden Network. So user do not need to do something because it will be distributed at the genesis. And the thirty percent goes to a parachain auction, which means by locking KSM token, you can earn Shiden network token. And the, after the X year, one year or, or two year, the, the KSM token will be returned back to the user. So in this sense, um, crowd loan is sort of staking rather than the investment. 5% goes to parachain auction reserve. Since we have to become parachain again after the one year or after the two year. So we are going to use this 5% for the future parachain auction. And 10% goes to protocol developments and 5% goes to on-chain DAO. So community member decide how to distribute this 5% to the community member. And 5% goes to marketing and 10% goes to institutional investor and 5% goes to, to go to the team. How many Shiden token will I get for joining KSM PLO parachain is offering? Yeah, that's a question a lot of community members are asking. Is the same for when the Polkadot PLO will come about the plum, when will, how many plum will I get um, when I lock in my dot so this is something we don't know because it all depends on the lease lock period we will choose for ksm and also other factors are like how many users will participate in our lock drop tree mm -hmm. how many ksms will ksm uh, will be locked in and then we will make a calculation on how many the percentage you use in the lock drop to um, send out the tokens you 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 earn. So we are going to announce our strategy on our Plasma Network forum. 
So the best way to understand our strategy is to catch up the forum. The next question is, what does it mean to unbond my KSM and how do I do it? Yes, this is more for users who are using their KSM to be nominating uh, validators or bounding them for staking rewards and things like that. If you are doing that with your KSM, you need to unbound this. Um, I believe for Kusama is seven days, yep. the cooling down period. So when you press the unbound on the Kusama um, user interface, it will take about seven days before you can use your tokens into the lock drop. Right. But you will have enough time to do this because the, the lock drop will probably be some weeks, maybe a month, we don't know because of the candle auction, but it will be more than seven days. So you will have time enough to do this. Yeah, but I recommend people unbonding KSM token when the auction is announced by the yes. foundation, just, yeah. just in case. Correct. The next question is, when will I receive my Shiden token? Well, you will, you will receive your token the moment we win the auction. If we don't win the auction, it will be on another slot and it will be sometime later. But the moment we win the auction, mm -hmm and we are aiming to be the first one on Kusama, you will get your tokens um, after the, the winning period, after the, the auction, and this will be automatically go to your wallet. This is not announced yet, but we are making the interface between Kusama and the Prasm, Shiden. So it, it should be Shiden here. So you can specify how many KSM token to lock, let's say, uh, 1,000 KSM, then you can see how many P Shiden network token you can get. And you will fill out the affiliation address and then deposit, that's it. So this is really simple and very easy to understand. Just today I will talk about the renomination. And this is not only for Shader network, but will also happen on Plus network. And one big question we got from our community is why? And you, as you can see on this slide, we already had two log drops. And log drop one went really great, but the second one, log drop two, went insane. And this yeah, is something great. we... Pardon? Too great. It was a huge yeah. success. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, was, it was insane. Yeah, that's really great. And we didn't expect that to happen. Like, we went from log drop one, we were only 260 participants. And for log drop two, we had over 6,000 participants. And a total of uh, 140,000 Ethereum were locked in. So that's a huge amount. So we are very happy with those results. But in the end, as you can see on the tokens that are distributed to our investors, it was almost 15 billion. So that's a, that's a lot of tokens. So as Sota showed us the tokenomics of Shader Network previously, we decided that log drop one and log drop two in total are 30% of our total token supply. And with log drop three, um, we explained it will be around 30% also to 35, depending on, um, on the lease period and if we win the first um, auction. So in the end, we estimate that our total token supply will be around 45 billion. And this is something, a very huge token supply. So we decided to do a redenomination. This was not decided by only a few, few team members. It was decided by the whole team, included our advisors who also were part in the discussion. And our, our redenomination will look like this. So we will go from 15 to 18 decimals. And to give you a better idea, let's talk about numbers. You see, we will go from 1 million tokens to, if you have 1 million tokens, you will, after the redenomination, you will have a thousand tokens. The first question is, what about Shiden token from Plasm 1 and the second lock drop? And the, will they have a vesting period? So yeah, thank you for the question, Alex. 
Yeah, I know, I know this, Alex. <laughs> so, lock, lock drop participants, the first lock drop participants and second lock drop participants can get PLM token as well as SDN token, Shaden Network token. But lock drop three with KSM token cannot, the, the participants of the lock drop three cannot get, you know, the, the, the boss token. Since KSM lock drop and the dot lock drop are different, two different things. Sorry, uh, probably a question is about vesting uh, to what about the vesting? Um, oh, vesting for the um, lock drop one and two. Yep. Yeah, no vesting period. So once we deploy the shared network, they can their token will be tradable. When we list our token at exchanges. <laughs> And the next question is when will be the lock drop for Xama and the Polkadot? So it depends on you know Xama parachain auction and the Polkadot parachain auction. So Web3 Foundation will announce the date. I hope the Xama parachain auction is end of this month or the April, and the Polkadot parachain auction will be around summer, I think. Yeah, thanks so much. Yeah, thank you for joining. Thank you for joining Martin and the Alex and the community Welcome. members. Yeah, see you soon. Have a good day. Bye.